Hey guys, what's up? So two weeks in the top best retweet fires 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first tweak is called timestamp and dynamically cycle between time and date in the status bar. Next tweet is called F dots, hide page dots, hide icon badges, hide update dots blue, hide beta dots, widget page dots, um, icon labels, photo labels, and widget labels. Supports iOS 14. Next tweet is called LibHooker, a general purpose injection and hooking library for 64 bit devices. Next tweet is called Waggle Tunes, a customizable music controller for every setup. This is called Battery Health Enabler. Enables battery health section in the settings on iPad and iPod. Uh, this is a tiny battery HUD. It's a tiny tweet allows us to show the battery level instead of the volume label inside the volume HD view on system wide. This is called Modulus and Tivity. Um, so that's several awesome uh, new control center modules. Uh, so you have Tivity, iOS 11 Plus, Battery Module, City Module, Device uh, Information Module, Shortcuts uh, Module. And you guys had the refund policy or return policy. Next week is called Video Pace. SE um, has been updated by a different developer, not Ryan Petrich, but someone else updated the version 2.0.0, which supports iOS like 9.3.3 up to iOS 13.5, I believe, um, so which is actually version 2.0.0. So right now it's only on the GitHub page, but it might be added to uh, his repo or it might be added to someone else's repo. Also, I mentioned what Video Pace does. Video Pace uh, allows you to speed up or slow down. Um, you know videos in certain apps. So it's not going to every app but like Netflix Hulu It works on those type of ads. I mean apps, but for YouTube like ads like for apps. It does not work for those um, Next week's called custom SW. It's also a structure tweak uh, Customize the switcher any way you want so people the ads many changes to the switcher it's Cool apps change the uh, different colors animations titles icons background blurs This week's called weather ground and tweak that brings weather to your fingertips. You have live weather background and live weather effects. Just called Files of File Manager, 64 bit, and Files of File Manager. Um, it's just the File Manager for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Sports iOS 7, and up. This is called Apps Manager. It's a tool that provides a way to wipe back up, restore app data from installed apps. This is called Lock Watch 2. And the idea of having an Apple Watch on your lock screen continued. This is called Badge Bar, and replace your stock ugly badges with a badge bar. Next tree is called Noctis Neo, Dark Mode, your way. Next tree is a uh, theme, uh, or yeah, theme I think, pillow. Make your icons pop out of your home screen by having the uh, new morphic look that everyone loves. Supports iOS 7 to iOS 13. Next tree is called Jelly Lock Reborn, a beautiful, uh, beautifully simple launch screen application. Uh, launcher for iOS 14, inspired by Jelly Lock for iOS 7 and Jelly Lock Unified for iOS 9. Next tree is called Spotify, and it adds various enhancements to the Spotify application. This is called Uranium. Uh, lots of options to enhance your iOS experience. This is called Photo List. Shows all the uh, list of all the applications in a folder, like Watch OS. This is called Su2 Plus. This is called 420 Tools. Tools for Randy's uh, Randy 420s tweets. This is called CC Support. Uh, support tweak for Control Center modules. So it has the ability to further developers add their own modules to the Control Center in a safe way. This is called Notify Barrage. Supports iOS 12 to 14 point apps. Or notify barrage. This is called Splash Ad Block, supports iOS 9 and 14, removes application splash uh, ads. This is called My Folders Titles and Smooth Tweet that gives the option to cut custom text colors, backgrounds, and features for your springboard folders titles. This is called Grady and brings the YouTube Music Google Music Player to iOS. This is called FlyJBX, Bypass Survey Detection Tweak. This is called Botsy 4 and you can easily control your icon layout with a quick swipe up on the home screen. This is called More Bar X13, More Status Bar Icons. This is called Awesome Page Dots, Animated Page Control for the home screen. This is called GPS Sheet, and it allows you to get uh, change your current GPS location um, on for your apps and games. This is called App Firewall, and take control of apps network assets with App Firewall. Backer, download wallpapers for your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. This is called PKG History, some application records your package history once you install it. Class iOS 9.0 later. This is called Double Tap Lock. Uh, lock device by double tapping on the um, double tap on the home screen to lock your device. This is called Spotify Equalizer Enhancer. Make the built-in Spotify Equalizer useful. And last week's called Tinnitus 12. Plays a random ringtone for users to find list um, list for incoming calls. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.